Rasquami with a reggae recipe. Rasquami with the reggae recipe in the place up and right now. It's all about Romish Entertainment. And you know when you know the jingle to a man's business and brand, you know that's when you know it's higher levels. Am I, am I, am I right, Romish? Yeah, man, our problems, man. Our problems for real. <laughs> so if you was like, you know, like you have bro guard and you have melody guard and this guard, which kind of guard are you then? <laughs> up top. Up top guard. <laughs> wow. Revealed to the world for the first time. I lie. Yeah, yeah but the know people want to make a call me entertainment boss. Entertainment boss. Mm. All right, which is right. It makes perfect sense. So, Ramesh Entertainment, who is the family? Who are the artists who are involved in well, the Well, the team is very big because I believe in dance, I believe in a reggae, so I believe in a unity. Okay. One team, one dream, and we say, yo, that is what we need now for make dance all go back on top. So, we have Ding Dong. You know, I'm the father of the team because I'm the first person I really start work with at the team now. Then after that, we sign Shensia. We have TJ. And then we just sign a new artist now named Cash. Cash. So we have four artists okay. completely. And then, you know, we have Liquid as well. ZJ Liquid, mm -hmm. who's a DJ as well as an artist. Right. So you can consider it's a Romish Entertainment of five artists. Right. And then we have a lot of DJs. We have Bishop Escobar, which is the hottest DJ in Jamaica right now. We just, just signed DJ Nico as well. He's very well talented. DJ Franco, the Monday Carnival Mixing God. We have our next DJ, DJ Ansman. Um, we have our next one named World Fresh from Ochi. So we have a mixture of DJ. We have a whole heap of DJ, DJ Scrappy DJ, Black Boy with Tour with Shensia. So my DJs, them, them play out every weekend in Jamaica. And some of them travel the world and play out as well. And some of them play with the artists them itself. Okay. So it's a you know, it's a full team. So may have DJ, may have Jade, which is known as Jadine, she's a host, as well as she's the marketing manager basically for the uh, for the team because it's she may do. When I'm not there, she control everything for the artist them and control everything on the ground. And apart from that, I manage over one hundred girls and about maybe about twenty guys in Jamaica that are brand ambassadors for some of the major brands as well as dancers. Wow. So it's a full promotional team I have at Jamaica as well Holy as fledge. it come with my clothing line. I have a clothing line where it's me make all of the costume them for the um the talents and I go out and do the, the carpet work as well as sometimes I just ding dang TJ Shensia. So you know everything compact and everything in one place. So okay. my thing not just dead there with Shensia and this and that alone. My thing right. just kinda dip on a different level where if you come to Romish Entertainment for the entertainment, you get the full package. So you have a, a building for this? Yeah, man. Excuse me. I'm a place off Walton Park where I'm born and grow where I left and where I sell out. You see me? Mm. So right, that's over there. Okay. So make we tell them the um, Romish Entertainment story, or more like the story of Romish, really and truly. How long have you been doing this? <coughs> well, me myself. You, see, you know what bring me to the music thing? I used to tour with you, okay? I used to go up on tour with you, okay? As Somebody where used to be the person they were them just rate and them carry me up on tour and any little thing for help around whether I carry the carry them bag or I run up on the road go buy food for them or me pack up the bands when show it done. Always there for help. So I guess I'm start from I'm come, we go across the world, travel the world with them, see see how powerful the music is. Especially when we come this side and come Europe and them places and say, yo, them money are bigger Jamaica, but when they come to Europe, them money are God. Okay. So we said to them, say, yo, I really love music. So then from this, I just started and I link up with Slider the Wizard where he my tour with Shensia now as a road manager because my brother that. Me and him started the music first and then I started producing music. And then after that, I just started manager artist named Versi and he never worked out because really and truly, I never have the knowledge and I never have the funds like that. So I just clutch back, low about the music, although I still like, produce one and two songs and I put out some little things and I get the bus. But my main thing was Ramesh Weir, my clothing line. At one point, I address the whole of the artists. Then when you go and sting on some face, 90% of the artists, them are wear my clothing. So from this on now, we have built up links, we have built up powers, we have built up network and then me and Ding start link and we start helping with management and we start do about the music little and then here comes Shensia work and me find her off I see him promotional thing because she used to be a promotional girl so again it's one business I help with another business right and so did, make you, everything did you good. always set out to be in the management side or was it more producer no me I gotta be real with you every single thing that I am doing now and doing so good and big I never planned this. Oh, wow. I never planned for be an architect or some of them, something. I never planned for the nothing. But it's like, me as a business person, once I start something, I just go full force. 
I don't look and say, yo, if I'm not it, I go work. I know it, I go work. Right. So I just go full force, push everything I have with it, and it just work. So how long ago were you with TOK on the road? Um, maybe about 12 years ago. Yeah? Okay. So some people would say you've achieved a lot of success in a very short space of time. It looked like from the outside to the front. Mission Entertainment is about maybe just five or six years old now. Right. You see me? So yes, I've done a lot in the space at the time. And how has the journey been? Difficult, hard, winning all the way? Well, I'm telling you, I love what I do, you know. The biggest thing I get fight, but to me, people that say Jesus Christ, people fight me. Yo, fight and negativity help build me, so it don't no, no bother me. Right. Once a man now look at me and touch me, I care zero. But that's all about if I make mistake and people bash me, I fix my mistake and move. If people bad mind or envy or whatever, me just protect myself more. But every wrong me wrong, I turn it into something good and make it positive. And I see anything I teach and me give it to my, my family and my friends and my artists and my talents. Them say, yo, anytime you see people are talk about you, that means I do something good. So continue to do it and don't watch that and do it from bash back people. Just stay focused, stay positive and move on. So I really, I'm not going to say me have a journey with me this and with that. Everything because of the grace of God is like each year I just get to a higher level. So I just plan for it, I accept it and I give thanks. Okay. So in terms of like um, the creative side, uh, you do production. Have you ever wanted to be like an artist or musician or anything like that yourself? <clears throat> I never really, I always wish I could have played a drum, yeah? But I don't really want to be an artist. The amount of people I ask myself for advice, so <laughs> do an intro, be like a next DJ, call it. But I don't know, maybe that one day. But at the moment, I just have focus on manage the artists them. And as myself, last year, I start produce more. And I'm, for the past four or five years, I've had some huge hit fling by Ding. I one of the biggest songs I dance for the past three, four years that produced by me. Trending Girl by Shensia. Own a Lane last year, which was one of the biggest songs in a dance hall produced by me. So I have a whole heap of stuff going for me. Not only so the artists them hot, but me as a producer doing very well as well. Okay, so in the sense of um, the normal, when people say producer, a lot of the time people understand it to be the person who's actually making the beat. Mm. So when you say producer in Jamaican terms, is it the same thing you're actually in the lab building the rhythms or do you employ musicians to build rhythm? We have musicians who do that and the same person I'm telling you about, Slider the Wizard with Tori Chensia, he make most of the rhythm. We have a next guy from Jamaica who work with the name Kalfani. So Romish Entertainment has two good producers as well. But at the end of the day, not now come out of the studio without me accept it. So rhythms have been made a lot of times and I've come in there and said, yo, change that, change that. Right. Artists are right, song already, whole heap of time, Shensi and Ding and TJ do song. I'm saying, yo, I'm not like it, change. And then go behind me back and try, but guess what? No matter what you do, at the end of the day, it's a team thing. Me have to accept it, you have to accept it. So we always just come to agreement and fix what you need to fix and push out. And that's why we keep winning because the artists now always come to, yo, ooh, yo, I'm here, the artist. Me. No, them listen with me, say, as the management. I mean, listen with them, say, as the artist, and we work good as a family. When they say we, it's not manager and artist, a family at work. Okay. So when you, when I look at it like um, Jamaican producers from way back in the days, like the legendary King Jammies and Bobby Digital and all of these producers, do you see yourself as coming from the same kind of lineage or is it uh, more like a modern production that you're doing and management? You know, I have to give thanks and big up them man from back then, but really and truly, the music change. Everybody are bash it and I say, yo, they might do trap dance all and they might do this, but where music I come from? We I come from Skia. We know the box Skia now. You period? We I come from Roots Reggae, they know them something. It's like, you know, every music, we not go ever hear a singer sing like with Newson and Silly Indian again. It just changed, so now music has changed, so new time, social media, new vibe, new sounds. So I'm going to compare myself back to them. Well, okay. I was going to say, you're a new thing, new generation, new feel, new thing, but you know, them set the trend, I would just lead and we just have to follow now. Natural. So back in the day again, they would sit under the mango tree and man would come and sing song and they pick some talent from that. How do you in these times find talent for your company? I never yet look at artists in a car. The hardest thing I for manage an artist. I never go around a car. We did that with Ding. It was just a vibe and we do things and we work. And then Shensia just come and I look at her and say, Yo, you know, said the girl, yeah, don't sound like how she look. She sound like a real ragamuffin, but she look like one real chromas. <laughs> so I look at her and watch her little and I see that apart from that, she's a very hard worker. She work hard. No matter what time she finish her, she get up back and go. Plus, she does have a three month. Year old. You understand some and say yo, I respect her. So my belief is that my prefer to have somebody will work 
we have 90% of hard working and 10% of skill than somebody with hard work 10% and have 90% of talent. Okay, that's interesting still. You prefer that because you can have the best talent in the world if you're not willing to work where it will happen. Okay. But the person that have little talent and willing to work hard, fine. And the beauty with it, she, she has the talent and she can work hard. So that's a one in a million, brother. I have to just say, yo, watch out, we're going to move forward. So talent comes to you naturally, kind of. Well, it's been there because TJ, they come to me like three, two years ago and I say, yo, he more me help manage him or whatever. I, mean, I said, no, brother. Me just did a sign Shensi and them something. So I can't focus. So I say, yo, I not this him or I not bash him. I say, yo, at the moment, no, he can't work. And surprisingly, I never even met him. I just go so I did it one time I went at the studio. Me and Calfani in the studio with maybe slide and with it and we all have and we watch some face performance and we say, yo, Everybody does a talk about Ragging King say, yo, Ragging King, mash it up. So, me I watch the video and I see Ragging King come and him do him thing and mash up the place and then I see TJ walk out and I say, yo, how the money I go perform at 22 year old? I'm a 22 year old, I perform 5 o'clock in the morning after what the artist man dance all now and still come out there, hold the ground, still have clarity, still I get forward, still I mash up the place instantly. Not even a minute after I watch the video, I call him and say, yo, I'll link me tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> so that's the story about the link up. Yeah, you see stuff. the talent and yeah, impressed but the blue, by it. Yeah, but the team been a link, me say, yo, they want to work. But it's like that, they just show me, say, yo, they're youth, they are different. Ready. And then luckily at the time, him did have one song where I go on good and then have a next song I get a little buzz. Right. And as I meet him, I say, yo, yeah, this is, we just shoot a video, start putting money in his career, start push it, and that was it. Okay. So does management mean finance? in terms of what you do. Yeah, man, your yeah, manager have to spend money for an artist, but it's not just that a manager come with all the whole thing. As a manager to an artist, you come like them father. You have to do that for them in a minute. Even personal things, it's not only just music. You get me, I say, if you have to take up the, the thing, say, yo, you're a manager artist, you have to willing to drop your life and, and become in their life, as well as you market them, you, you spend money upon them, you find ideas for them, and you help them in every way. So I don't want a man just feel say, yo, because you have a money, you say, yo, you're a manager, you're a boss, you're an artist. No, you have, to, you have to have the influence in everything where artists do. You get me? So when you come like a manager, it's like a, it's like a boyfriend and a girlfriend thing, you know, you want everything where you're a woman in, you know. You see me? No, real thing. You're not, you're not even like going to say like family, because family thing different. Yeah. When you're there with their own artist now, everything become intimate. You know what, it sounds funny in a way, but a real talk, like, if you go out this and you see, yo, ding dong, crush him can and a man step on him foot. It's like a man step on your foot too. Right. You get me, I say, because a year artist, a year time, if you not deal with it, so and take it from the heart, you're not going to pump, you're not going to come and say, yeah, the artist is at me, I'm going to spend the money and get back the money. No, it's not all about money. Wow, that's powerful. Absolutely, yeah. Education we are dealing with. Mm -hmm. Speaking with the big man Ramesh from Ramesh Entertainment right here on The Reggae Recipe. Um, so you're coming like DJ Khaled with the social media when you're ready, you know, boss. Um, you're not scared to <laughs> communicate with the fans on the Insta live yeah. when it's time. Um, is it important for management to be active like that? Do you have to be a personality yourself within the well, company? Well, I, mean, I really think that as a manager, you have to do that. You can, like, every time I'm there on the artist, I'm a post with the artist, them, I do, and people will say, yo, you show off, but no, you are sure. Like, last week, we and Shensi had a 14 interview in a one day. We have to show the people, them say, yo, I never ever see an artist at a 14 interview in a one day. We have to show, say, yo, this is a female, she, she not fully well, she come in a cold country, and she still a push to do her work, so don't bad mind when you see it. You get me? I say, but me, pan a live and pan them something, that's me personal, that. Me, I just a jovial, loving person. Me, not go on like me better than people. Me, talk to every single person. Me Try as much to answer as much DM as possible. Anytime people see me, me deal with them good. Anytime nobody see me face makeup, I just either work me at work or I'm just in them mood about me. I want Joe, just Joe and happy. Right. So when it comes to those kind of like, I wouldn't even say beefs, like you, you have these back and forth with some other personalities on the scene, like your foot hype or your Joe Bogdanovich or. Um, no, business, that, man. It's just business. Everybody free for talk. As I tell you from the, when the interview start, once a man not touch me, I just reason with a reason and talk. I don't both care no feelings because I look on it. Me and some face have them have war and beef and whatever. If them come right now with a contract and me like it, me sign it and make the artist them go work. Me not have no problem with that. Simple as that. 
Um, so what does a promotion campaign in Jamaica look like um, in for the entrepreneurs out there who want to do this thing? And I know quite a few of those. Um, let's say you had a fresh talent with a new track and you're ready to put the thing together. What's the basic moves that you'd have to I lay will. out? If you have a new talent, first, the most important thing, make sure you say the talent song makes sense. Not the because your talent. A lot of people just, yo, my artist, why is a song? Yo, it's bad. Yo, come out of the mentality there. As, as a producer and as a manager, you have to listen to the song as a friend. Then you have to listen to the song as somebody who hate the person. You have to listen to the song as a fan. Then you have to listen to the song really as someone that knows music. You have to have different personality to the song. So me have to look upon the song and say, yo, what is, what that? Because you know people buy us. You see enough time an artist go voice a song and the whole like you them, yo, blah, 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 bad, bad. No, you have to really listen to the song and say, yo, Miss Pansy, I go like this. Miss Peter, I go like this. The little youth, I go like it. That's how you know when a song go make sense. You get me? I say, and then the next thing is timing. You cannot want to drop one soul song, one loving song in a carnival time like a Jamaica. <laughs> because, you know, you get me? I say, yeah. you have to know timing. When you work out all of that and logics, and you shoot your video, you print up your flyer, then your CD, then everything for your artist, then you have to do the groundwork. And the groundwork don't mean you go to the weekly event them only. You need to go to the radio, make the DJ them know you, as much as it's rough sometimes, you have to make them know, say, hey, hi, I am Ramesh, I am managing Shensi right now, this is her, blah, blah, blah. Would like you to take a listen and really would like, if you really like the song, for play it and make it add whatever. You have to do the work there. You have to take your shun. You have to take your disrespect. You have to take your man and say, yeah, 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 I'm going to play this tonight. I'm not play it. A part of the game. Right. From your start from zero, you have to do that. No matter how much money you have and where you want to spend, if the song doesn't make sense and respect is not there for you and the talent, I don't, you just have to wait for the lucky boss there. No, go work. So we hear um, it often said that in Jamaica at this time, a lot of people have to pay the selectors on the sound system to play the records and, and mm -hmm. get the thing going. Is that true? Do you, is that part well, of the practice? I, you have people who stay so. Luckily, I don't mean, mean, know much of them. Right. But you have people who stay so. Are you mad I mean, at that? I'm mean, not going to say I'm money either. Sometimes I'm going to ask you a favour. I'm going to say, yo, I need this and that. I ain't an idea, brother, I work. If a man I help you for make money, you can help a man back whether you give him a free show or you give him a free dub or you help him out in some way. But you have some man where definitely if you not do that, you not do that, which me not with them. You see me? If me have to give you that for you do for play with a proper talent, me not gonna do that because I ain't idea. And if you not get music, you can't work. So you get me and say so some people overdo it while some you just work. You get me and say and me have to big up the Jamaican DJ them because honestly them show me respect and love. And them help me with the artists them and the talent them. And the beauty with it, me and them have a such a good relationship that if they don't like the song, them tell me straight, say, you know, say, I don't feel the one. I play it still because they don't know, say, I'm or she, but I don't feel it. And I like that. Right. Because I then know when I get by the feedback, I can say, you know, say, better I don't to spend too much on the song because it's not going away. You get me? I say, I see him like when I just get out of Shensi, you know. As much as I believe in her, I still go to about, I go to about 30, 40 people in the music, you know. Really? Yeah, man, from Conscience to TJ to Frost to Chrome to all of them people. Yeah. If you say, yo, what do you think about that girl? Like, Taurus, really, all of them. I mean, I tell you, say, you have mixed feelings. Some never believe. Some say, yo, she bad. Some say this, some say that. Even the great spice come to me and talk to me and raise me and say, yo, make sure you deliver this. Everybody me did go to and talk to. I mean, right. I have to give thanks to that because, yeah, when me did look back, if me did go to 50 people, 10 people never sure, 5 say no, and 35 say yeah. Okay. So me just go full force because even if me go 50-50, me I go full force because me don't say yeah. <laughs> but you just want to get back the feeling there and the feedback there. Right. It's, in, it's very important for you to keep your business in Jamaica. We're talking off camera and we're talking about distribution and stuff. And you're saying how important it is for you yeah. to actually retain yeah. your economy within Jamaica. Tell us a bit about that. It's just like an artist signing to a label. If you sign to a label and you don't know the people them for call and talk to, I don't think it's, it, it makes sense. Um, I have different people I, I, I distribute for me. I have Apple, I have Johnny Wanda. I have an next place I must name, one RPM or something like that. I use when name Martin, I work with properly. He tell me about it and I use them because if I have an issue, I can call them instantly. While some people that say, yo, you go use them big company because they are the better and them bigger. I don't believe in that. I go forever loyal to Johnny Wanda because them man are the first man I know when I come in the music. And them man they used to help at the time of a blasting when blast out the artist and make the artist go out there. So even if I give him all of my songs, still have to give him some songs. Right. Because people talk negative about people, 
But until me say that for myself, me go and work with it. And every business where you do, there's negative, there's argument, there's robbery, there's everything. I just saw you just have to just look on the positive and move forward. If a man have one negative and, and nine good, what me for do? Kill him? <laughs> I have to work with it. So, me prefer for us keep the money within people where me know, keep the money in the society, keep back to the money where people are spending back in the country. That was my vision, that and I might love that. Beautiful. Um, Red Bull Culture Clash 2019. Team Ramesh, you look like you had fun with that one. Would you do that again? Yo, uh, you sure? Red Bull Clash? I this it was a Ramesh Clash. <laughs> Brother. Every single DJ attacked me and me only. Like, me, I wonder if nobody has never depended on the team. You had a great team, that's why. But, uh, no, I, Your was team the, I was the only person that had a team. Okay. Remember, everybody like have a mixture of people across the world. Romish Entertainment was one. Romish Entertainment. Yeah. Everybody in a Romish Entertainment signed to Romish. You get me and say, I never go out there and get no outsiders. While everybody mix a little like this, a little Caribbean, a little over this, a little over that. I was the real only team with authentic just really yo a Ramesh entertainment so you could have a Ramesh entertainment sound system or a Ramesh sound you have anything with Ramesh <laughs> entertainment right now you get what I say the people them are show the love the artists them are do the work we as producer do the work we are promote yeah, brother if somebody really hate Ramesh entertainment I just bad mind right because we are give back to the people them too as well as we are do greatness you get me I say, he's not a man with a Jamaica who just make money. You know? 32 people send go to school every September. You know? Right. You get me I say, plus... How many? 32. Plus, anybody can tell you if they come to about a good charity where we believe in our help. Whether Shensia help, Ding Dang help, TJ help, the whole our help. You get me I say, so, I not deal with mean people. Everybody in my team have to give back. You get me I say, whether Christmas time, throughout the year, whatever. Me know so I give, give back 12 months of the year. Beautiful. Another strong commendation right there. <laughs> Chopping it up with a big man, Ramesh, right here on the Reggae Recipe. So in terms of like when your artists run into a little bit of controversy, um, like Shensi at the Red Bull Clash, we have to talk about that. Um, when it comes to that kind of situation where she's going at it with Jada Kingdom and an artist has responded and it's all moving forward, how do you, how do you, what do you do? Well, at the end of the day, that was a sound clash, you know. And let me tell you this now, a whole heap of words throughout the clash and... 90% of the clash words were thrown at me. Me could have leave that time, I could have vexed with a million man. Every single man in the in in so, we come from Jamaica, me feed them with work already. Me, me spend money with them or them spend money, we do business. Suppose me to come out and say, I'm done with all of them, how them? So if we come and we do one clash, whatever happened to the clash, we're done at the clash. So we're not going to follow around after the clash because these people need there's something named Red Bull Sound Clash. We're going to set things and we're going to do things. And the wickedest thing, Ross, I'm going to tell you this. We could have won the clash there. You see, after the second and third round, my sister people start getting them feelings. <laughs> I can guarantee about five or six dub, but we would have made the place mash up, erupt, going to people's personal life, kick wet teeth, kick out foot. Wow. I tell the man, them, hold them back. Really? Because I'm not going to make because one little sound clash come for one little money we will get. I broke up my relationship and me and vibes and be a war. And because sometimes it's bigger than what we see up on TV, you know. Yeah. Some man, you can't take it mentally and you take it personally. And I never want that. So I prefer for those know, say, yo, I didn't have idea. Red Bull Clash, it promote the whole away. It did well. Um, win or lose, I get the same money. So I never see nothing for me, say, yo, Ray, and kill up myself. And I just know, say, one and two artists get an extra eye power fight. Glad for them because I any idea people have to eat and money have to make. Okay. It now stop my team because it, it helped promote me and we still have to work, we still have to work for the so. You just have to work with it. I have any idea if we did if we did have to do the same thing if we get an iPad or so. Right, so it go. Um your success has inspired many creatives who are on the other side of the stage in the business. Um what advice would you give to people who would like to achieve the levels you are achieving right now? Why would I love if more people can achieve it? But as I tell you, I don't know if God bring me upon the earth for this, but I just a blessing. You get me, I say. I don't know what, but I don't know if you can ever find an exchange here, next ding dang, a next TJ. But uh, I have to say, you have to believe in what you do. You have to work hard. If you think so you can go forward, don't look back. Just move forward. When you make a mistake, you get up back from your mistake. You fix it so you don't make that mistake. But always continue going. And listen to me, if you do all of that in your heart, not clean, you have negative thoughts, you have to mash up same way. Okay, no. Not way. because you don't do negative, you know. No means so you think you have to remember it's a two different things in general. If me the writer so and say, yo, I kill me for kill the boy Rask, you know. 
It's a difference now when I'm there, so I'm not kill you, that means I'm not doing good enough. Once you have the negative thought, you're doing negative. So you have to think positive, bring positive energy, and positivity will reach you. Yeah, that we are set. So what's the tw next 12 months looking like? Um, any major moves ahead? Oi. So, you know, Shensi, I just dropped a collab with um, Sueli and Young Tug with the Russian. She have, next, she have two more big collabs to drop before the summer. <laughs> she have a single herself going to drop as well. And all of these are international songs I'm talking about. And we still have a mix it with one and two dance hall. Um, TJ and Ding Dang still a shoot them video. Um, Ding have one Afrobeat collab uh, come out soon with a big name. We are work on some stuff with TJ. So the whole of my artists them busy working apart from touring. I don't have to talk about touring. They book out yeah. every week. Every one of them book out every week. So the team, the, the next, I can't even talk about the next 12 months. I have to talk about six because I deal with my year half half. Anything when I do I have. So the first six months, whole heap of work, whole heap of music video, whole heap of stuff I drop, whole heap of promo. I just we just a turn up a thing for 2020. We have to go 20 times bigger because I remember the start of the decade wow. now. So we are set history. The year I want to create history. I want when 2020 finished, nobody have to ask no question. Who did this or who did that? <laughs> Them know say yo, I write this up. Fire! Yeah, man. Absolutely love that rubbish. Enough respect and enough love for passing by the reggae recipe. Thank you very much. Reggae my, my recipe. Boss. Yes, my boss. In fact, tell them if uh, anybody wants to link you. What's the what's the what's the link? Yeah, if you know I link up Ramesh, I now look no more artists right now. I just sign a new artist named Cash. But if you need to book the artist, they might want a dub or none of them stuff there. You send an email to Ramesh Entertainment at Gmail. That is R O M E I C H Entertainment, and that's the same name. You can follow me on Instagram and you can DM me as well. All right. See it there? Natural. Rest one. Rest one.